back with the market right here on ET now and the market definitely is rumbling quite a fair bit down 200 points now we're pretty much at the session lows and sub the 17,100 print but let's uh, take cognizance of another management we have with us Mrs. Uh, Anandi Ramalingam the CMD at BEL joining in on the show right now. Ms. Ramalingam great to have you on the show first of all I want to talk about the latest order from Hindustan Aeronautics uh, help us with the timeline of the delivery of the products uh, on receiving the money as well from this and also if you could tell us about uh, whether or not this uh, or rather how much this order can really add to your bottom line. Yes, it's a very big order for us and especially in the avionics sector if you see this is the first time that we have got such a huge order. I mean crossing 1000 crores itself used to be very difficult so this is the one biggest order which we have got. Uh, it consists of various uh, subsystem LRUs, uh, including the very critical digital flight control computer, air data computers, three dif different types of weapon computers, the, uh, the, the uh, flight uh, display unit, and other LRUs. So it's a really very challenging uh, LRUs which we are now going to supply against the LCA program, and uh, we are really honored and pleased to receive this order. As far as the top, as you were asking, the, I, we will not be able to specifically comment on the bottom line or the margins that we have got in this order, but we would like to just make a mention that it is, uh, uh, it is not a very strained one, it is uh, quite good. And uh, we overall, whatever uh, we, we have been telling that overall we will be maintaining a margin of uh, EBITDA of about 22 to 24 percent, we still maintain that and the uh, turnover of about 15 to 18 percent of growth. Sure. Ms. Rangmalingam, uh, you know, within the defense sector, companies are now focusing more and more on indigenization. I wanted to understand how much of the localization focus has been on this particular order from Hindustan Aeronautics. Has everything been homegrown or have you had to import uh, any products and parts as well? Uh, no, everything is indigenously designed and developed. In fact, the, all the LRUs are de designed by DRDO and uh, developed and engineered by Bell. So all, all of them are indigenously. The only what we will be importing maybe a few components for which, uh, like ICs and other the semiconductor devices, which uh, for which the fabrication the fab facility is not available in the country. So otherwise, it's not that it is uh, the subsystem will be importing anything. You know, uh, Mr. Ramalingam, this is a big order for your avionics segment as well. Help us understand how much does this really contribute to your overall order book and especially with this order as well included in that. And how much uh, has the share now gone up when it comes to the avionic uh, uh, revenues in your auto overall, uh, you know, revenue pie? See, uh, we have uh, both the land-based and the airborne-based electronic warfare systems. The land-based systems uh, and the for we, uh, are manufactured at our Hyderabad plant and the airborne systems are manufactured at our Bangalore plant, what we call as electronic warfare and avionics. So electronic warfare as such, if you say, it will about the 10 to 12 percent is contributed by this segment in our overall turnover. And uh, with this avionics uh, deal, what we have today signed with HAL, it is likely to go up to about 15 uh, percent on a year on year basis. Right. Uh, Ms. Ramalingam, also talk about your international order book. Uh, how is that looking and how is the overseas market looking as far as the avionics business is concerned and also the other segments? Give us a sense. Uh, yeah, as far as the exports are concerned, you, I, I mean, I hope you will recollect that about about 15 days or one, or one month back, we signed a very good uh, deal with Airbus for the uh, for the C29 uh, C295 aircraft upgrade program of Air Indian Air Force. So there also we are supplying all avionics equipment, including the radar warning receivers and others. So that was about 91 million, uh, 91 to 93 million US dollars. So the, again, that was one of the biggest export order which we had got of late. And uh, many more such uh, orders are in the pipeline. We have uh, set up overseas marketing offices in six of the countries and two more we are planning to do it in the current year. And these offices have started yielding results and we are seeing a good potential of uh, us uh, acquiring much more orders in the years to come. So uh, as far as the, the current year is concerned, uh, we have already acquired about uh, 150 million US dollars of orders on the export front.
That certainly seems promising. But um, just talking about costs and also supply chain issues, a lot of companies have highlighted that as a major roadblock uh, and that has impacted production for a lot of companies. Is that the case for you as well? And how are you managing the inflationary pressures that are seen across the board right now? Yeah, you are right. We are also f uh, facing the supply chain uh, issues, not only because of COVID, but there is a real critical issue of uh, semiconductor devices not being available on time. But uh, we have been getting it, but there is a delay. So what we plan to do it in second quarter, maybe it will spill over to third or fourth quarter, but it may not last long. We hope that the, the industry is able to pull back and then start delivering as per the timelines which they had indicated earlier. So there has been a delay, but it is not uh, too much of a concern right now. Uh, we, uh, our suppliers have also given us indication, but they have started supplying. So it may not be at the same speed at which we were expecting, but the supplies are coming in. And as far as inflationary trend is concerned, yes, that that, that, that is uh, got a good, I mean, big impact on us. We are also t seeing how to overcome them. In some of the cases, we are uh, trying to see if we, uh, we can pass it, uh, get, get some compensation by the customer. And uh, of, I mean, uh, maybe in times to come, we will really know what would be the exact impact of this. In some cases, the prices have fallen down also. So it's not that uh, in every case, the prices have gone up. And I forgot to tell you, I mean, you had, the first question you had asked about the delivery schedule of these LRUs. So it will start from uh, financial year 23 and end by 20, 2028. All right. And we wish you all the best with that. Look forward to speaking to you again in the near future.